Well, good evening, everyone. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are. It's lovely to see you again, as usual. And I really do mean that. It's lovely to see you. I love seeing your comments and I'm recognising the same people, obviously, coming back week after week. So, yeah, thank you ever so much for coming over. Just have a nosy at what I made for the family meals this week. So if you're new and this is your first time here, my name's Cheryl and we're a family of four from the west coast of sunny Scotland. And I like to put these videos up because I love watching these on YouTube and that's why I started making the videos. I always start off on Monday all the way through till today which is Sunday and hopefully it'll give you ideas for you and your own family. So on Monday one of our favourites at the moment we had soup and baguettes. So you'll have seen this soup already if you watched the recipe that I posted for the soup the other day and I'll leave it linked underneath the video as well just in case you want to go and watch it and make it for yourself and we had bacon baguettes at the side with a few pretzels. We like a few sort of nibbly things on the side if we're having soup or croutons, you know, something like that. And this was the soup here and it is ham hock and lentil and there's potatoes and uh, sweet and carrots. It's just delicious. Moving on to Tuesday, it was just me and Mr Watts for tea and we had some wee individual pies and a mountain of mashed potato. <laughs> I put on a bit too much there but in my mashed potato I put a wee bit of butter and parsley and cream and it's just delicious with some tender stem broccoli and an individual meat-free steak and onion pie and gravy. Moving on to Wednesday I made a pasta bake so this is macaroni in a cheese sauce and I added bacon and mushrooms and some panko bread crumbs and grated cheese on the top whacked it into the oven and we also had some wee balls of doom aka brussels sprouts and some garlic bread as well and this is ever so tasty so yeah this is just out of the oven and that's the bacon and the mushrooms and I added in the cheese sauce oh it's just lovely moving on to Thursday we had bangers and mash two of us had the meat free sausages and two of us had sausages from the local butcher so again with the creamy mashed potato some peas and some onion gravy on the meat-free sausages and these are just the Richmond meat-free sausages and I love these. Mr Watts for Tea isn't keen on these sausages so he prefers the sausages from the butchers. So these are just some pork links and he's got three because he's greedy and some baked beans. He loves baked beans with mashed potato. Ever so simple I know but it's so tasty. I'm moving on to Friday. Another one of our favourites just now is the cauliflower cheese. Again, really, really easy to make. So it's cauliflower in a cheese sauce with some grated cheese and panko breadcrumbs done in the oven with some meat-free Linda McCartney sausage rolls and some peas and green beans on the side. Now, again, I'll link my recipe for cauliflower cheese underneath. And moving on to Saturday, I made a lasagna with some salad on the side. So there's lettuce, tomato, cucumber and onion. A wee bit of grated cheese. That's the lasagna there. Delicious. We all love lasagna. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Pure comfort food and a wee bit of garlic bread as well. And this was the lasagna here, just out of the oven. And I made way too much, <laughs> but you can, of course, freeze this. Lasagna freezes really well. And sometimes I do lasagna just with veggies, but this time it was a beef lasagna. And yeah, I do recommend, you know, if you're making lasagna straight from the oven, do let it sit for about half an hour before you cut it, you know, and it'll, it'll hold its shape a wee bit better. Moving on to today and we had mince and tatties, another big favourite in the house. But instead of the mashed potato, I've just gone with some whole potatoes or baby potatoes, some marrow fat peas at the side and that's some slow cooker minced beef peas, uh, sorry, minced beef carrots and onions and a wee bit of puff pastry on the side. And again, I'll leave the recipe for this underneath in the description box. But just before I move on, I wanted to say, as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And a big welcome to Judy, who is the latest patron. Thank you ever so much. You know, that was, yeah, amazing. So thank you to you all for watching and leaving your comments and for watching the videos. You know, there are nearly 100,000 people watching my wee videos now and I just cannot believe it. I'm ever so grateful, you know. I just love making these videos and as long as you're enjoying watching them, you know, there are more and more of you every week. I will continue to post them because what has turned into a hobby is more like a wee job now. <laughs> it does take up ever so much time. I didn't realise, you know, when I started making these videos quite how much time 
that they would take up, you know, when it's not just the filming, you've got the editing and all the different bits that goes into it and it does take quite a few hours. You might see a 10 minute video, but that video is actually taking about four hours or five hours sometimes to get together and upload. So yeah, I just love it anyway. So thank you all for watching if you're still here at this point. And coming up next, I've got another wee recipe and my shopping haul and another wee unboxing, another wee surprise unboxing I haven't done before on the channel is coming up. So I'll give you more details of that next week. So until I see you next, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you all. Off us soon, back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.